welcome to Wedding and Event Insider. I'm Elizabeth Sherry, Director of Special Events. Today I have the pleasure to interview one of the most creative artists in the industry. Her inspiration for her floral designs is the setting all around us that she sees we likely miss. I do floral pretty different from the average, like if you were to go into a flower shop, you're always going to see your standard floral like your roses, uh, Alstroemeria, stock, carnation, things like that. And um, I, I always incorporate those types of flowers, but I always want to go for something that makes someone say, oh, wow, what is that? Her eye for design and her business savvy make her a desired florist for the wedding and events industry. I'm honored to introduce Jamie Spellerberg of Wilderland Floral. I have been in the industry for quite a few years, um, specifically in the floral field, uh, I'd say more than 10. <laughs> um, but I officially launched my business um, uh, last fall. And so uh, I know a, a lot of you are thinking, well, it was a great time to start a business. <laughs> so um, just with COVID, it's been a lot of curveballs, but uh, it's, it's been such a great learning experience for me. And uh, just what I like to focus on is really the experience I like to give my couples and uh, just being a, a, I like to say a solopreneur, it's just me in my business. Um, but I really like to be able to have that hands-on experience and really guide the couple through uh, just the, the picking of the, the different floral that's going to be included in their arrangements on their wedding day, um, all the way through to the very end where I'm going to be there physically setting up uh, with the clients. Um, I, I just love that that whole process of really going through the day with, with, with a couple and just uh, seeing it unfold before their eyes, too. It's, it's just, it's definitely a magical experience. Oh, that's so great to hear and how you like to work so personally with the couple that you're, you take on as clients. And, you know, I'm just kind of curious because when you say, you know, you're fresh and new starting a business, do you have any advice um, about taking that leap and, and starting your own company? Anything that you learned along the way? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I had been wanting to start a business for so many years. Um, and it was just that there's, I, I'm sure this is with anyone who wants to start a business. So there's that fear that holds you back, not being sure if you're going to make enough money to be able to support yourself. Um, uh, and I, I really wish I would have done it sooner. <laughs> and so my advice to anyone is to just dive head first. Um, obviously, make sure you have a plan and support system, whether that be family, friends, um, that has been absolutely huge for me is really making sure to get um, connected within the industry that you're going to be um, working within and, and just having that support system of, of family and friends who can, uh, you can, you can feed off of. Uh, when you work by yourself, a lot of times you're, you're kind of the only one spitballing ideas. And so having that support system to talk with others, to brainstorm new ideas, how to be innovative within um, your niche uh, is is really important just to be able to uh, just feel like you have have someone to talk to about it <laughs> and uh, I really wish I would have done it sooner but um, it's it's definitely been a wild ride and I've enjoyed every minute of it nice and, and so from what I heard it's basically stay connected and remove fear because I think that fear can be so overpowering yes um, so that's I love that advice good job and now a word from our sponsor. I'm Elizabeth Sherry, your host, and I want to tell you all about Dana Allison and her event planning company, Keyed Up Events. Dana is one of the most dedicated and hardworking people I know. She is organized and truly one of the best planners in the Twin Cities. No two weddings are alike, and neither is the wedding planning experience. That is why Dana believes in hearing about your plans and vision for the day, and then building you a service package that is flexible and has exactly what you need. For more information on Dana and her company, please visit keedupevents.com. And now back to our show. And so now tell me what sets you apart from other folks? Um, what inspires you? Because I think a lot of times floral is more art than it is, I mean, it's a business, but it, it is truly having to feel inspired as well. So what inspires you and, and kind of what sets you apart? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I do floral pretty different from the average, like if you were to go into a flower shop, you're always going to see per, your standard floral, like your roses, uh, Alstroemeria, stock, carnation, things like that. And 
Um, I, I always incorporate those types of flowers, but I always want to go for something that makes someone say, oh, wow, what is that? And so I really like to work with unique pieces, um, whether that be, uh, I do a lot of foraging. So, and when I, when I say foraging, what that is, is basically um, I, I gather a lot of my materials from the woods and out, outdoors. Uh, it could be on the side of a highway, or the, ro the road, whatever it may be. My my husband will definitely attest to um, me making him pull over on the side of a road so I can pick up a, a bunch of branches for like the perfect arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he definitely rides with me on those ones. <laughs> but um, yeah, my style is very unique as far as I, I really like to draw my inspiration from nature and the outdoors. Uh, and just see what color combinations work in nature. It can easily be transferred into a wedding theme. Um, I utilize a lot of uh, natural materials that are local. I, I really try to be as sustainable as possible. Um, and that, especially with that, the foraging aspect, I want to utilize what um, we have available seasonally as well. Uh, and, and that really, it, it can be difficult as a florist because uh, we have such a short growing window here. Um, but it, it really, it, it pushes me outside of the comfort zone, outside of that box to be able to, to incorporate items that not, you wouldn't normally think is beautiful, but when incorporated with those roses, uh, the alstroemeria, those other types of flowers, when they're combined together, it creates something completely different and unexpected. Well, you're going to make me look at the side of the freeway a little bit differently now. <laughs> I'm going to look to like, hey, what can I complete my dinner table centerpiece with by looking at the side of the freeway? Oh, good. Well, Jim, oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this was a lovely interview. I do want to end this interview with some fun lightning round questions so we get to know you just that much better. Um, so if you feel ready, this is going to be your kind of quick reaction to some easy questions to get to know you better. <laughs> Um, so I'll start off first. All right, bring it on. Bring it on. Good, good. I'll start off first with uh, what's your favorite flower? Oh, my favorite flower. That is probably the hardest question for a florist to answer. Um, <laughs> for me, it probably changes just about every season. Um, I would say right now I'm crushing really hard on the Cymbidium orchids. Um, I've used those in a few different uh, weddings and shoots recently and they're just absolutely perfect. I'm especially, I, I recently used like a kind of a brown colored one, which sounds weird, but works really well in fall colors. Fun. And I'm going to have to Google exactly what that looks like here after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then in um, your life or in business, what is one thing you cannot live without? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would say the easy answer is coffee, but uh, I would probably, uh, to do just kind of two answers to that, I would have to say um, fresh air. Being outside, uh, it totally rejuvenates me. I get cooped up in the winter time, like I'm sure a lot of us do. Uh, and it, just being outside, getting that, that breath of fresh air totally rejuvenates me and is completely essential to, to being able to stay creative. Great. Oh, and then um, if you could go anywhere in the world today without any restrictions, where would you go? Um, I have to say New Zealand. It's, uh, I'm a big Tolkien fan and I got to travel the, the land of the Hobbit. <laughs> it's definitely on my bucket list. Oh, that's a great one. Oh, that was once upon a time a research project for me. So now I'm going to have to go there. We'll make, maybe make it a, a good TCWP <laughs> outing or field trip. <laughs> Well, Jamie, Definitely. thank you so much for taking the time today. And we were just so appreciative that you could um, share your wisdom with us and your, and your stories. Thank you to my special guest today, Jamie Spellerberg of Wilderland Floral. For more information about Jamie and her company, please visit wilderlandfloral.com. If you're interested in more content like this Insider Podcast, please subscribe to our newsletter at tcwep.com. I'm Elizabeth Sherry, and to use Jamie's business slogan to close, Center on the Wild Side. Thank you for listening to the Wedding and Event Insider Podcast.